Hello beer drivers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter, the Master of Puppets. Today looking at another beer that was sent to me from BeerJunk.com, a great Belgian web shop that you guys should check out for a great selection of craft beer. And guys, this one is another Dutch beer, another beer from Broverie de Molen. And this is their, I'm probably going to butcher it, Blood, Sweet and Tannen, which means blood, sweat and tears. So, this is one of the beers I think I haven't had from them, and this is their smoked stout, or it's a smoked beer. I like how a lot of their beer, if it's not completely stout or completely imperial stout, it says ish. It does that on the label in this one too. And then with all the modern beer, beers, it says all the exact ingredients in there. But uh, it's a smoked stout that's smoked with both uh, peated malt and, or smoked, brewed with both peated malt and Bamberg smoked malt. And Bamberg smoked malt is usually beetroot smoked, which is what gives that intensely barbecue-y flavor, whereas peat smoke is more minerally. 8.2% uh, alcohol, and they also use uh, caramel, chocolate, and roasted malt in there, and the hops you use are sledding. So, sounds pretty good. It's been a while since I've had a smoked beer, so looking forward to this one. So let's get it cracked and poured. But I got it poured, guys, and it looks more like a smoked beer, half beer type thing than a stout, because as you see, it's not pitch black. It might look pitch black on camera, but it's definitely like a dark brown with a like kind of foamy head. But one of my subscribers talked about this beer recently, recently, and he said he loved it. Sorry, dude, to forget your channel name. He also does beer reviews, but um, he um, he said it was really good. So let's check out your own on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's smoky. <laughs> that is that is really smoky, and I'd say it's the Bamberg malt that dominates. Oh, caramel, bacon, smoked fish, smoked ham. Like, it almost smells like smoked mackerel. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've had a smoked beer like this. This smells awesome. Oh, yeah, 8 point. Was it 2% alcohol, by the way? There's a little bit of a peaty maltiness as well. I got peat smoke, that minerally almost umami edge. Well, there's kind of an umami edge to to beechwood smoke malt too. And there's definitely like caramel toffee. It almost smells like a more roasty double buck, to be honest. Because you get a lot of caramel toffee, almost dark fruit, like raisins and figs, caramelized figs and plums. And then that kind of meaty smokiness. It smells really fucking good. I, I know Demona are pretty good at doing smoke beers. Ever since they brewed Freya and Thor, I've been hoping that they'd rebrew it, but I don't think they have. I mean, I remember that blue Jakob and Eyes Mines, so back in the day, I them all. So without further ado, guys, let's give the Blue Sweet and Tannen by Demona a taste. Cheers, and thanks to Beardrum for the beer. Oh, that's a balanced smoke flavor, too. Actually, the aroma, I expected it to be more smacking. Oh, okay, it comes. This is a 2015 bottle, right? Yeah, and it's funny because a lot of smoked beers, especially with age, the smoke will go back and forth. This is pretty much in your face right now. Mmm, what a delicious mix of smoke flavor. It's still definitely the beech wood that dominates. Uh, the beach will smoke that meaty, bacony, almost smoked mackerel, smoked ham, or smoked sausage flavor that dominates. But there's also, the, like, that's up front mostly. And the back end is the campfire burnt notes with that kind of mineral, peaty, smoky edge. The balance is pretty insane between two different smoke characters without being muddled. And it's fun how this. The kind of beechwood thing comes up front, or the Bamberg malt comes up front, and on the back end it's the peat. Oh wow, this is really nice. Almost like a caramelized flavor with almost like candied bacon, because it's got a lot of sweetness. But it's not like maple flavor, or brown sugar, or maybe a little bit of brown sugar. It's like a candied, bacony, smoky. This is actually really good. I, it's, it's like not smack in your face. It's like a, 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 like a really balanced, soft, yet kind of intense flavored smoke beer. I don't know if I'd say, nah, it's probably not a beginner smoke beer, because it does have a lot of smoke. Man, it's been a while. And like, 8%, this drink's like a fucking 5% beer. <laughs> this is dangerous. Like, this is like an imperial... Yeah! You know what? That is what it tastes like. It tastes like an imperial Rauch beer. 
it doesn't taste like a smoked stout to me, even though it said online or it says stout-ish. It's kind of like an imperial half beer in my eyes, actually, because you're getting the more intense, still soft smoke flavors, and they get the combo of both peat and campfire and everything. But then you get a lot of complex flavors under, like undertones of like the caramel, the toffee, and the dark fruit. That is good stuff. I do love smoked beers, by the way, too. So. That's also one of the reasons why I probably think this is really good. But guys, if you like smoked beers, like I do, you really need to check it out. This one, this is really damn good. I know smoked beer is a lot, one of those styles of beer that really splits up waters, because a lot of people think they taste disgusting because they taste like bacon and smoke and campfire and whatnot, but I do enjoy that. So, pretty tasty stuff, guys. Rating-wise, for the Demolin Blood, Sweet and Tannen, I'm going to go 93. This is really damn good. This is one of the better smoked beers I've had in a while. It's not as good as the Freya and Thor, which was like a 95, but this is damn tasty stuff. If you can't get it locally, you can hop on to Butchum and get it on there. Great stuff. Man, I'm all... Damn, I want more smoked beer now. I want to go up and find some smoked beers because of this goddamn beer. Um, awesome, guys. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram, and let me know what you think of this bad boy if you've had a chance to try it. And I'm going to say cheers now. Stop rambling, and see you guys in another beer review.